I bet you didn't know that every single time you go on the internet, you leave a trail of breadcrumbs. Well, not at least, n n not really breadcrumbs, but basically you leave a trail of exactly where you've been, and that is called your digital footprint. Every day you're online, you paint a digital portrait. And it's a portrait that marketers use to specifically target you, advertisers use to know what your preferences are, and employers use to know what your background consists of. It's a real portrait of your internet activity. No matter what you do online, it's important that you know what kind of a digital trail you're leaving behind and what the possible effects of this digital trail can be. First thing we have to discuss is what is a digital footprint? Well, a digital footprint is all that stuff you leave behind online. Things like um, comments on Facebook, places where you go shopping, um, Skype calls, emails that you get, anything that can be potentially seen by other people and or tracked. This is how you leave a digital footprint. Say you go to a website and you answer a questionnaire or you like something on that retailer website. What they do is they send something called cookies. And what cookies are are these tiny, tiny little programs that are internet tracking devices. They track your movements to see which sites you go to so that you can be specifically targeted primarily by advertisers. Be particularly careful on social media sites. Every time you, tr you tweet or retweet, that's being recorded. Every time you like something on Facebook, anytime you post a message, even if it's a private message, that too is being recorded. Make sure you know what the privacy settings are on your social media accounts. And make sure that you, you keep checking because every now and then they'll change the privacy settings. And if you're like most people, all you do is just click agree, 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 which is probably not the best thing to do without reading it. Your digital footprint reveals a lot about you, a lot about what you like and what you don't like. And putting all this together has great commercial value for advertisers. Everything that we post online becomes public and can potentially damage your reputation. When something is online, it can be there forever. So know that before you post. You want to make sure that you leave the best possible digital footprint. So don't overshare. I think a lot of us are guilty of that. <laughs> but know that everything that's online may be there permanently. And think before you post. That is probably the most important thing that you can get from this little discussion is think before you post. Make sure that you are putting yourself out there in the most positive way and that anybody who's following your digital footprint is going to say, that is a very cool person and I would love to be just like them. I'm going to give you five things that you can do to help protect yourself and I call this the five P's. The first is permissions. Make sure that you have your privacy settings set so that only people that you want to see your information have that kind of information, have that kind of permission, and check them and check them frequently. The second thing is passwords. Passwords are your very first defense in terms of people hacking in or getting information that they shouldn't. So make them complex, keep them private, and if you want to know how to create a password, check on my link down below on passwords. The third is protect. And what I mean by that, it's protect most of your private information. Keep it private. Don't put it out there online. Put the bare minimum information that you need to enjoy yourself, to have a good time on Facebook, but don't put things that are not asked for. Anything that needs to be private needs to be in your head. The next is your profile. Only use your first name. No one has to know that much about you. And in fact, sometimes when I'm feeling a little spunky or feisty, I actually make up a name, a fun name that I can play with online and it really doesn't give away anything about me. And last but not least, make sure that you have a positive profile out there. 
What I do a couple times a month is I actually Google myself. Go into just about any site. I like PIPL.com because it's a deep web. And I Google myself to see what information is out there. And I make sure that I know what my digital footprint has done for that particular month. And help your children and your grandchildren to protect their digital footprint. Give them some advice about what should be out there and what shouldn't. If you happen to see photographs which you think are are probably not the best thing to, to, to put out there on the internet, make sure that you let somebody know because you can help them as much as they can help you. If you liked this video, if you found it helpful, please subscribe down below and hit the like button. Also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I look forward to seeing you again in cyberspace. Day.